Welcome back to day two of camping at Watkins Glen. This morning we're starting out bright and early. I hiked the Gorge Trail yesterday. Today it's Courtney's turn, so I'm taking her to show her the very best parts. There also must be a race or time trials or practice or something going on at the racetrack. It's seven miles away and it started up right at 8.30 and it hasn't stopped since. Today is our last full day here, so we have a ton of things to fit in. There's a barbecue restaurant we want to check out. There's a Thai restaurant that we've had our eye on. Let's figure out which one we pick for lunch. And then we'll be back here for dinner. But first, hike. Yesterday when I did this hike, I scoped out how to get from the campground over to the hike. This should help us cut off the crowds for the day. And it's just from one of the loops. It's probably a five minute walk from our campsite. It is all downhill, which means we have all the uphill on the way back. What do you think about that? It's actually really steep and Courtney has no idea yet. So much closer than I thought. This is gonna pop us out right at one mile, which is that bridge where I stopped my hike yesterday. We've made the turn. We're officially headed back the other way to the campground. We have to fight all of the crowds, but at least we have candy that we picked up at Cuyahoga Valley. And of course, a water break. What'd you pick out for us? It is a signature mint chocolate. A little sugar for all of those steps we get to go back up. We have to stop every five seconds because I need to get the leaves falling. A little busier than yesterday. For reference, we just finished and it's noon. So for us, that means it's time to head back to camp and get ready for lunch. We've made it out of the campground and our first stop is for barbecue. I'm very excited to try this because they have a thing called a pig wing. And what they do is they smoke the ribs, split them, and then fry each one. And then you can pick a wing sauce. We don't need any chicken wings today because we have plans for that, but this should be good. Also, Courtney loves barbecue. Do you want to go adventure and see? Yeah. One thirty in the afternoon on a Sunday in the fall, and it's only a 35 minute wait, which is perfect. But that means we get to do some shopping. Um, yes. That's right. Oh, it's the weights. Yeah. So split them up. And then we can try it. Cool. 
Hello there, lady. Hello. Wow. How cute is that? Thank you, ma'am. Bye. That thrift shop was to benefit the Humane Society. So all of the things were donated, but they weren't all like pre-used. Some of them were new, but the money went directly to the Humane Society. There were a few things I liked, so we might have to go back after, but we got a text that our table is ready. This way I can see all the food as it comes up. We were about 15 minutes late for pig wings, but we did get ribs and brisket, plus mac and cheese and fancy fries. Do you remember what your beer is? I got the Haze on IPA, which is supposed to have a pineapple flavor to it with obviously the hoppiness of an IPA. It's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. First of all, I am disappointed that we didn't get to try the pig wings because I think they'd be so good. But the brisket and ribs was exactly what we should have had. The tater tots looked pretty good, so they would have been good too. But that brisket is some of the best brisket I've ever had. Super peppery, tender, smoky, great barbecue sauce. And the ribs? The ribs, by far the best ribs that I've ever had. Just so tender, just biting into it felt like I was biting into butter. Mine actually fell off the bone. Oh, just perfect. So good. We already made a plan that we might have to go back and get more ribs to go. And we're trying to decide if they'll stay in the cooler until we get home tomorrow night and if the ice would be worth it. And I think, I think it might be. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But she really did say on the first bite that it might be the best rib she's ever had. Just so good. And this is someone who would go to a restaurant just to get ribs. Back to shopping and then we're gonna go to the park and then probably more food. Definitely made a purchase after walking in there. They said that they've been open for 15 years. The first couple were a little rocky, but then it really took off. They've actually been able to build a new shelter because of the store. Plus, I'll be able to put this in my antique store. We have made our way to the park here in town. We're gonna let Juniper run around, check out the water, look at the lake a little while. But this is a nice way to get outside. The state park is not exactly on the lake, which I was surprised to know, but this park is perfect. Thank you. 
Courtney's had her eye on the Thai elephant since we were looking at places to eat here. We're gonna go check it out. Not what you would expect from the outside. It looks really neat. Does it make you wanna order everything on the menu? <laughs> The peanut sauce is really good. It's sweet and peanutty, but also a little ginger. That's good. She's gonna be up all night. It is the perfect combination of sweet and the harshness of a coffee. It's really good. For our last dinner in Watkins Glen, we had to get dessert. This is the fried cheese cake. Oh, it's so good. It's the softest fried shell. Definitely like an elephant ear. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Then you have the sharpness of that cheese from the cheesecake. It really is really good. <laughs> Isn't that surprisingly good? <laughs> That's exactly how you described it. Like an elephant ear. No, yeah. crust. 
We were debating on if we needed ice cream again, and we just decided to get dessert here. This was the correct choice. That was our last stop here in Watkins Glen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, because we are headed north to Buffalo. But tonight, we're headed back to the campground for Courtney's first experience with pudgy pies. Stick around, I'll show you what they look like. Like a Fruit Loop or a. Oh, really? Yeah. I need a napkin. Okay. Thoughts on your first pudgy pie? It was really good. I like the crust, which is probably not something that most people would say, but it had like the crystallization of the strawberry on it, and it was really crunchy and good. And I like the fruit flavor in the white bread. Mm -hmm.